Hi, welcome back to Genuine Coder. This is the 15th video in the JavaFX library software development tutorial series. And in the last video, we have fetched the uh, details of the shoot book. And in this video, we will do the submission part. So when the user clicks on the submission button, we have to return the book back to the library. So I'm going to the main.fxml file and here is our submission button and on action i mean when the user clicks on the submission button we have to load submission operation so uh, operation so that's fine i'm going to the library assistant then main.fxml file so uh, we have got the load submission operation now what we want to do is we want to get the uh, id of the selected book so i'm going to do that so string id equals uh, book id dot get text before that we have to make sure that the book information is successfully loaded in order to do that we can maintain a variable a global boolean variable so i am going to define a global boolean variable here boolean is ready for submission for uh, i'm sorry it's ready for submission equals false but first is it First, it is initialized to false. Then I'm coming back to the load book info section. And if everything goes right, then it will reach this position without any exception. So is ready for submission equals true. And uh, after changing the book ID, I mean book load book info two will be called. So at first we will make it as false. So if the book is successfully found out from the database then this function will execute and it will be ready and then this will be true so first we will check whether if is ready for submission if not if it is not ready for submission then we will not uh, execute the uh, coming statement and we will return from the function so that's what we have done here and we got a string id book id dot get text now what we want to do is we want to do two operation just like uh, the opposite of what we have done in the issue first we have to remove the entry from the issue table and we have to make the book available in the database so i'm going to write the first query uh, first action so string ac1 equals delete from issue where book id equals single colon then id plus single colon so that's the first one then there is one more string action 2 equals update book set is avail equals true where id equals single quotes plus id single quotes so we got two action to be performed and I'm going to execute that so handler I'm sorry database handler dot execute action then first action and and database handler dot execute action again which is the AC2 if both of these actions were successful then we will notify the user that the book has been submitted so uh, for that i am going to use the alert so alert alert equals new alert and it will be a type of information rather than error so information if uh, no, sorry alert dot set title then success alert dot set header book has been submitted then alert dot set content text then you can add anything here in in my case i'm not going to add anything with that so it will be better if i set this one to null and context text to the corresponding text so okay then one more thing i have to show and wait that's it else if any kind of error occurred then I have to notify the user about that one too. So I'm going to take a copy of this one and, and move it right here. 
so we got the second alert and it will not be a success message so <coughs> I'm going to show the error information so error failed book has submission has failed submission has been failed and that's it and the database message will be display from the database handler itself regarding the error so that's not a problem and we have to show one more message if it is not ready for submission then we have to display an alert in that position also so I'm going to paste that here and here uh, is ready for submission please select please select a book to submit so that's fine so far then it's ready for submission is true okay now let's run the program then I am going to the renew submission section and here I am going to give the notebook ID B100 and if uh, without giving a valid book ID or loading the book if I go for pressing the submission then I will get the error please select a book to submit so that's what the return statement doing then I'm going to enter B100 and OK then submission so going for submission book has been submitted so that's it guys now the book is submitted and here if I go for entering the B100 again you can see that there is no such book it has been returned and again here if I go for pressing B100 then you can see that is available in the library so that's the uh, submission operation we have missed one thing we have in taken a confirmation from the user for uh, uh, submitting the book and that can be done using by by reusing the previous code for issue so I'm going to do that also so coming back to here alert alert equals then we have here then just one one moment I will explain all everything alert alert one it is there is already alert variable so we come to create an another instance in the same name that's why that error so what I had done is in the like in the submission section we made an alert confirmation then we set the title confirm submission submission operation are you sure want to return the book to inst uh, return the book and here there is no need of this book name and member name because it is already shown in the list view so I just asking are you sure want to return the book and if the res response was okay then we will do the rest of operation else if it was cancelled then we will go for just a cancel operation and the cancel alert can also be taken from the issue section in order to save some time and instead of issue operation cancel we will show submission operation cancelled now let us run the code again and um, so here we are uh, we can't uh, submit a book without issuing that so I'm going to issue a book uh, this time let it be b101 and uh, issuing that to genuine coder me then issue ok then book issue complete then I am coming to here then I am pressing B101 here so okay it is uh, it has been issued in this date and submission are you sure want to return the book and okay so now the book has been submitted so that's it guys that's how you implement the submission section and in the next video we will look into the renew section so until then thanks for watching this video and bye bye